For the first time since 1992, USC sweeps the Bay Area road trip. The Trojans' only Pac-10 weekend sweep of the season builds locker room momentum and the belief that they can slay another giant with the 10th ranked Arizona Wildcats coming to Galen. It's our job to not let them win the game. It's our job to make them miss. It's our job to force them to take bad shots. It's our job to play as a group. You gotta play like Trojans tonight. And we all know what that means. You gotta fight your ass off. Every single play, fight your ass off. It'll be good enough, I promise you. Let's go. Arizona is one of the hottest teams in college basketball, carrying an eight-game win streak in a Thursday's showdown. Well, they're tough offensively. I feel like everybody on their team can score. They're just aggressive. On defense, they're aggressive. On offense, they're aggressive. Get to the foul line a lot. And uh, they're, they're a good team. Kevin O'Neill knows all about the Cats. This season has been a three-stop reunion tour for KO's career, with previous visits to past employers in Tennessee and Tucson. All these teams that I've coached, I mean, I play them all, all the time. I actually just called Marquette. It was the only Marquette in Northwestern. We need to get them on the schedule so I can play them. The Cats' core is made up of should-have-been Trojans. Sophomore stars Derek Williams, Solomon Hill, and Momo Jones were let out of their commitments to USC after Tim Floyd left the program. Williams underneath, and puts it back. It's hard to swallow. Um, you know, when you look at their top three scorers on their roster, and they were all committed or signed with us at one time, um, you know, it, it's, you always wonder what could have been. Not only did the Trojans lose all three marquee players, but they couldn't prevent them from transferring within the Pac-10. Uh, we actually asked if we could um, not release them to the Pac-10, and normally you can do that if they've already played, but the fact they had not actually played for you, that they had to have an open release, which allowed them to go anywhere in the conference. You know, the timing was crazy. Arizona just got a new coach and they needed players and had scholarships available. They actually never saw Derek Williams play. They just took him because he had signed with us. The trio of former Trojan commits dominated USC in their first meeting of the season, accounting for nearly half of Arizona's points in an 82-73 victory. Arizona with the win this afternoon at McHale Center. Derek Williams he had 17 points in 10 minutes in the second half. All three of them are good players, and especially Derek Williams. He's, uh, I mean, he's the best player in our conference, and he's a, uh, I think, uh, in my opinion, I think he's a top five picks in this year's draft. So he's a really good player. We don't have a matchup for Derek Williams. We got to hope he misses, and then we've got to do a better job on Momo Jones and Solomon Hill. But this time, the Cats will venture to Troy, where USC holds a 10 and 4 record this season with quality wins over Texas and UCLA. Well, nobody's won in Tucson this year. But we're gonna, we're gonna obviously have a better chance to win at home than we would on the road. I definitely like our chances here, and uh, I think we have a great chance of winning the game and, and uh, beating them. With March a week away, the Trojans hope to stir up some madness in the final homestand of the season. You know, Derek Williams is gonna be in the NBA. They got a couple guys who'll be in the NBA, and hopefully we do too, so just the intensity and the atmosphere is, is, uh, is what you live for, you know what I mean, being a college basketball player.